Hey gang, Django here, Primal Punch here, coming at you with a simple, easy to make doggy e collar. Come here, Amy. Come on. So, Amy has been tearing herself up, man. She's a compulsive scratcher, compulsive chewer, and um, we put a normal e collar on her, you know, the plastic cone, the cone of shame, and well, She's still compulsive, still obsessive. So what she did was lick the inside of that all night while we're sleeping. And her saliva on the inside of that started kind of rotting her lips, digesting her lips. So we uh, had to figure out a solution. So what I did, I went and got a, pool, a couple pool noodles from the dollar store. All right. And here you can see I cut them. Amy. Amy, I cut them into sections. Now, come here, little girl. She's a rescue, and some male hurt her. She's still leery around me, even though we've had her nearly a year. Come here. Come on. Come here, goofball. So look, if you look at the bottom under her chin, you want to cut a section that's going to separate these, okay? So it's going to keep it from choking your dog, because you can't just bend the pool noodle around their head. They don't bend perfectly round. They don't bend perfectly round. Um, it, it wants to kink and it'll choke your dog, especially on, on a little girl this size. So I cut the piece down here under the, yep, don't lick me though. You got to go a month without eating your own poop before you get to lick my hand. So there's the separator. Then the side ones you want to measure and you want it about the length of their head, okay? Because you want to disallow them from getting to whatever it is they're trying to get to. Now she was tearing her ears up and chewing her back feet and she had chewed her sphincter until it looked like hamburger um you couldn't tell with her fur she had her winter coat in and now i'm keeping her trimmed a lot shorter but she just chewed herself up just anything she could reach scratched her ears to pieces and she can do this just within the space of a couple minutes you know and we had had to cone on her uh, and like I said, so that brought about other issues, which uh, started digesting our own lips. So now, the single thickness here was not enough. She was still able to chew on her keister hole. So, the way that I did the, uh, the extras here, you can see it's just a length of rope tied through and pull it tight and that pool noodle material will grip itself. You see, I've got a single rope just passed through these. It looks like a Mardi Gras necklace if you've got it uh, loose. Now, I've got enough here to do a double butterfly knot. And that way it's easy to untie and loosen if you need to. But this actually will pull right off because uh, it's got flex. But she can't get enough leverage to push it off her own head. And now, if she tries to get to her keister hole, there's the material in the way. She can reach her front feet. If I wanted to disallow that, then I would have extended this bottom the same as I did the sides. Okay? I would have just come out here and added another piece running along the bottom. Then she wouldn't be able to reach anything. Now at the top, I did two separate pieces because you want a place to be able to have your butterfly, your, your uh, you know, loops, how, how you do your uh, bunny wings or whatever, bunny ears. All right, so I got the two pieces, and again, those are acting as separators to keep this from closing in on her little, little neck. But super easy, cost effective, um, pretty much the best thing going. And now her face, she's got full peripheral vision. Her face isn't inside a cone. Not really sure where the battery died there, but anyway, it's super easy to make. Come here, Amy. Come on, come on. It's okay. She, I think she's always just going to be Larry a man, man. Anyway, uh, super easy to make. The pool noodle cuts really easily. Just have a decent, a decently sharp knife. And again, you want the side pieces to be approximately the same length as your dog's head from the, the base of their skull to the tip of their nose. And if you need extra because they're getting to their front paws, then you'll extend with an extra piece um, on top of your separator there. So it'd come out and you'd have another piece here just add your rope through that outer layer and cinch it semi-tight uh, through those pieces. And you can even attach it just to that chin piece there, the headrest. 
and you can keep this on them and you want the two pieces here so you can have your bunny ears in between and again those are acting as separators to keep it from squeezing your dog's head but this comes on and off it's not tight but it stays in place really well and I know she kinda looks like a little biplane but it's keeping her from chewing her keister hole into a pile of ground meat keeping her from chewing her paws until they're bloody keeping her from digging her ears to pieces so I can't fix her compulsive behavior but I can protect her from it and you know like that so just thought this might help someone you can get these pool noodles for a buck two ninety eight a piece you know depending on where you go and oh you'll want something behind it to keep it forward too so if you got their extra collar what I did was I just wove an extra collar on there you see that I wove an extra collar to push it forward so that it doesn't uh, flop, uh, flop to the sides and everything. But that's it, gang. Thank you all for watching, all right? Live free, punch hard, bend hard, and take care of your dogs. Amy. Amy dog. Say woof, woof. No, Jenny will. Jenny. Jenny. Bark. Bark. Jenny, bark. Bark. <coughs> yeah, it's a good girl. Bark. Yes, all right, good girl. All right, gang, thanks for coming by and hanging out with me. Hey, good girl. I appreciate you, okay? Be good to yourselves, because you're worth it, and I dig you. Bye now.